Father bless you. Yes, we want the Holy Spirit to lead us always in our lives. Without him, we can do nothing. We need him so much in every area of our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We welcome you to Moments with God. I'm Bishop John Kamande Jorogi of Glory Celebration Church. We welcome you to, to today for the message of the hour. God loves you so much. Uh, today we're going to hear the word of God. The first reading shall come from the book of Isaiah 61, uh, 60 and verses 1 and 2. And, and I'm going to read and I'm going to read that portion of the Bible. It is says this, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples, but the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. My message today is about receiving best from your visitation. Because God is a God who is encounters us every time. He wants to meet us. He wants to talk to us. He wants to visit us, especially at specific times to change things in our life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And this particular portion of the Bible in Isaiah 60, 61, it is says, arise. And the Lord is speaking to you. He's speaking to me. He says, arise, shine, for your light has come. Your light has come. Your time has come. And the glory of the Lord rises upon you. So the glory of the Lord, because it is the time of God's visitation, it's time of God locating you. It is, this is the, is the hour. And therefore the glory of the Lord rises upon you. And it says, darkness covers the earth and darkness over the people. So when God purposes to visit you, he may not visit everybody. People may be in darkness, and God decides to visit you. But the question is, shall the visitation of God change things in your life? Shall it be, shall it do be the best time of your visitation? Shall you get all that you need to get through the visitation of the Lord? That's why you're being told, arise and shine. Remove that sadness in your face. Remove the loneliness that is in your heart. And start to shine and to, uh, and to give God the glory. Because he has decided today he will visit you. Uh, though the darkness covers all over, but the light is being focused upon you. Because you are special. As I am speaking to you, child of God, God is speaking to you. It is sad to wait all your life through prayer, preparation, and only to miss the very thing you have infested your emotions. So sometimes it is sad that when God visits you, you're not ready for the time that God has decided to visit you, to bring you goodies from above. It is so, so, it is so, so sad that you can miss the hour that God is visiting you. Things you have infested, the emotions, the prayers, the tears, only to lose the hour. When that hour comes, you lose it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The time of your exaltation, the time of your deliverance, the time of your freedom, the time of your reward for the work that you've done. And then you miss the very hour that you've been waiting for. But I am speaking to you. You will not miss your hour. You will not miss your moment. You will not miss your period that God has destined for you. You will get it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Many have missed their hour of visitation. Amen. Many have missed the time that God had come to, to visit them. Many had mi missed, missed their rewards because of unbelief in their hearts. And not being in the right position that God positioned you to be. And therefore, when he comes, he finds that you are no longer where he left you. You are no longer where he wanted you to be. 
and your heart is filled with unbelief. You don't believe God can do anything for you because you have gone through a very hard time that has degraded your faith and removed faith from your heart. I want to tell you, God is visiting you today, Amen. and may you get the best out of this visitation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you receive your freedom. May you receive your deliverance. Yes. May you receive your word. Yes. Arise and shine, for your light has come. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And the glory of the Lord rises upon you, and darkness covers everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It does not mean because there is darkness, total darkness all over the place, that God cannot visit you in time of darkness. He can visit you when everybody is not looking at God. Therefore, God is looking at you, child of God, and he is saying, I have purpose. I know you by name. I want to visit you, child of God. I know you. I know the kind of life that you have lived. I know you are suffering. I know what you have gone through. And this is your hour. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Could, are there people who miss their hour of visitation? Surely there are. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And one of them is one of the twelve. Judas Iscariot. He missed his hour. I don't want you to miss your hour today in the name of Jesus Christ. In Matthew 26 and verses 14, this is what the word of God says. Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went unto chief priest and asked what are you willing to give me if I had him over to you? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. This was a crucial hour because Jesus was to, this was a crucial hour. He was to die. He revealed to them that he would die. And therefore, this man, instead of perceiving that this was a time of their visitation, when things will be changed, when things of great things will be brought to them, when they will be made apostles who will form the foundation of our faith. Praise the name of the Lord. The Amen. teachings of our faith. Oh, hallelujah. Judas missed the hour. Hallelujah. Amen. He did not wait. He found the thought Jesus Christ was a charlatan. He did not. He was not the man they were waiting for. He could not help them. And therefore, he went to the wrong company to look for, for a few coins. He missed his hour. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. This is what he asked those, those priests who were looking for Jesus. He asked them, what are you willing to give me if I had him over to you? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The time of your visitation, you may be brought to two balls. One from hell, another one from heaven. And now it is upon you to discern which bow you shall receive, the one from heaven or the one from hell. Because what Judas received, he received another bow from hell. Because of the attitude and the heart that lived in him, the sin that lived in him. I want to tell you, your sin will find you out in the moment of your visitation. You try to lift yourself up, you may not be able to. Now we are about to receive Jesus Christ who is coming for his church. And if you have not prepared yourself for the visitation that is about to come, you may be left down here. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Judas did not get that moment. He did not design that moment. He did not understand that moment. His heart was full of unbelief. And his heart was full of you know, scheming and cunningness in his heart. He's the man who carried the money. He wanted the top position for himself. And therefore, when Jesus Christ says, death awaits him in Jerusalem, he could not understand. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There are many things that you do not understand about God. There are many issues that he has that are hidden in him. But you better believe him. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because his thoughts towards you are thoughts of goodness. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Therefore, Judas, the man, he, was, he missed his hour. You are there today. And Jesus Christ is visiting you. Probably through this message I'm preaching today. And he wants you for himself. Will you miss this hour? Oh, Jesus Christ is visiting you. He wants to liberate you, to deliver you, to give you freedom that you have been seeking. Through this message of the word, you can be set free today. Praise the name of the Lord. May this moment be yours in the name of Jesus Christ. There is another one that also missed an opportunity. He is called Zachariah. The man that we had prayed in Luke chapter 1 and verses 18. And it says, And Zachariah said to the angel, 
how shall I know this? For I am an old man, and I'm a wa and uh, and my wife is advanced in years. This was a time of visitation of Zachariah. She had he had waited for too long. He had served God faithfully. He was in the temple, and this was his year of offering the sacrifice. But and the angel was sent from above. Angel Gabriel came to him, and his hour war had come. His prayers were to be answered. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But his heart was filled with the unbelief. Mm. Could you be there? Your hour has come. God is telling you, this is the time. And you are saying, you are still doubting about some issues. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You are saying, I cannot be the candidate. Mm. This cannot be mine. This cannot be, this is too good for me. Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't deserve this. I want to tell you, God is visiting you in the name of Jesus Christ. Zachariah did not know his hour. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Which disappointed the angel of the Lord Gabriel. Because he knows the word of God. Once it comes out of the mouth of God, it is followed by the creative power. It produces what God says it will do. Yes. And it does exactly that one. And now here, there is a priest of the Lord who had many ears. Could it be even when we are serving God, we could still have hearts and we could have unbelief in our reigning in our hearts. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Though we have served God for many years, though we have moved with God for many years, though you have walked with God for many years, that problem, it has entered into you so seriously such that you are full of unbelief. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the angel answered him, I'm Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. In heaven, there is no unbelief concerning what God says. Yes. In heaven, there is, there is concurrence of everybody and every being in heaven. It concurs with what God says. I want to tell you, heaven is decided to visit you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may it be your visitation. May you be rewarded today. May your things be changed today. May that joy of the Lord enter into your heart. May faith be built in you. So that you can please the Lord. Without faith, you cannot please him. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And therefore, angel Gabriel was stunned. This was a priest of the Lord. Who does not believe the prayers that he has been praying? Could you be praying in your crochet, crochet for hours and hours every day? Yes. And calling on the name of the Lord concerning an issue. And when that issue comes, you start to doubt. You start to doubt when God says, I have heard it. I want to do exactly what you had, what you wanted. There are some people that God wants to grant things for them. But the moment that time comes, they cannot believe. And their prayers are wasted. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Their waiting is wasted. Mm -hmm. Their waiting on God becomes just something in vain. I want to tell you, don't lose anything. Don't lose your prayers. Amen. Don't waste your prayers. Amen. Believe in God. Yes. Believe in the word of God. Amen. Because he's about to do something. Yes. This is your visitation today Amen. in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let unbelief not get into your heart. Yes. Because God has remembered you. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He has remembered you. Amen. Staying, staying for too long, waiting for one thing, does not mean that God will not remember you. Yes. What people have said does not matter. Mm. What you have heard does not matter. Yes. And what the devil has spoken into your heart does not matter. Yes. But God has decided to visit you today yes. in the name that is above Jesus any other name, the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Judas betrayed Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We don't know what kind of an apostle he would have been. What kind of work he would have done for God. We remember the 12 who are faithful to the last. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And they left a legacy. Judas did not leave a legacy. Mm. Don't walk with Jesus for a time. Only to leave him at the very last time when God is about to remember you. Mm. Do not leave your possession. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Don't exchange that which God has given you for something that does not matter. Mm. Something that is worthless. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He was given 30 pieces of, of silver. 
and it did not satisfy him because his heart did not get peace. He had to run and bring it back and grow it into their feet, which they did not accept. You may not have another opportunity. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you miss your opportunity. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Another one is Lot's wife. In Genesis 19 and verses 26, it tells us about Lot's wife. In 26 it says, But his wife looked back from behind and became a pillar of salt. Her heart, because she did not believe. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Her heart was attached with the Sodom. Her friends were in the Sodom. Yes. She was not comfortable with the journey that God was taking her. Could you be there, probably in the church, and your heart is outside there? Could you be saved, but you are still looking at things outside God? Fulfillment of your whatever is coming outside from the, from, from, from the word of God. You are living with the people of God. You are living with the word of God. Yes. But your heart is elsewhere. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Lord's wife's heart was in Sodom. And Sodom had already been condemned. It had already been judged. The world has already been judged. Mm. And God is telling you to come out of it. Yes. Come out of the world. Yes. Come out of that place. Yes. Because it has already been condemned. Mm. And therefore God is telling you come to me. Mm. I have you. I, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. He is calling on you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Lord's wife, when she heard about the prop, about the, the, the sound of Sodom and Gomorrah being destroyed by God, she looked behind. She said, Oh, my friends, oh, my business. They had a very good business there in Sodom. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They were they had kept a lot of cattle. Oh, our businesses. Oh, our whatever. Jesus Christ is about to come. I don't know how much you have invested in this world. Such that even when Christ himself comes, you will not be ready to accept him. You will always remember the world, the things that you have invested, the friends, the wrong friends that you have invested with in this world. Lord's wife did not make it. Her hour did not help her. God had sent from heaven to rescue Lord's family because she had been married by a preacher of righteousness. The Lord was a preacher of righteousness in that place that was full of sin. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God said, I cannot destroy the righteous with the wicked. And therefore, Lord's wife was to be rescued together with, with, the, with, the, with the husband and the children. But she did not make it. Why? Her heart was out there. Could your heart be there? Therefore, your hour, when that hour comes, you do not realize it. When that hour comes, you do not be able to take it. Lord's wife did not take it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. May God help you today as you listen to this message Amen. such that you change because God has come for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Destruction is coming, but God has purposed that you shall not be destroyed. Destruction has come, has been ordained from above, but God says, I will rescue you. I will take you out of that problem. I will bring you out before I bring this judgment upon this place. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May, you, may God give you the spirit of designing. Mm. That you may be able to design times and seasons. Mm. When God is visiting you may know this is my hour. Amen. I shall grasp it. I know it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Look at Luke chapter 44 and verses 6. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Luke chapter 19 and verses 44. B, it says, Because thou knewest not the hour, the time of thy visitation, you did not know there, there is a time with God. There are seasons with God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And therefore, you who is praying before God, God is saying, I have a calendar. I have an appointed time that I want to visit you to bring salvation into your house. There's this time that I want to bring about things in, into, into your life to recompense it, to reward you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 
And then the word of God says, they did not know the hour of their visitation. This is Christ who was saying. For I say unto you that thou unto everyone which hath shall be given. From praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is that is Luke 14, 19, and verses 44. It is 44. I'm reading a different verse. Let me read the exact one. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, it is part B of it, and it says, And they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They shall not leave one stone upon another, because it will be a time of judgment. But because you did not know the time of your visitation, this judgment, you shall not be able to escape from it. May God help us. Give us the spirit of designing. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That we shall know that hour, that door that God has opened for you. There is a window that God has, is opening for somebody yes. to get out of that trouble. Yes. To get out of that problem. Yes. To get out of that secret you have had in your life. Amen. He is telling you, if you don't remove this from your life, my time is coming. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to reward you and you will not be able to receive it because you did not recognize the time of God's coming mm. to you. There is a time of God's coming to you. Amen. You need to recognize it. Amen. You need to sense it in your heart. Yes. That is, this is my moment. Mm. This is my time. Amen. God is visiting me. Yes. I shall not lose this. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. There are those who grasp their visitation. Yes. Well, mm. men of God who had the spirit of God. Mm. In Genesis 18 and verses 2, it says, Abraham looked up mm -hmm. and saw three men standing nearby. Yes. When he saw them, he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed down to the ground. He said, if I have found favor in your eyes, my God, my Lord, do not pass your servant. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. This man designed, this man knew his, his spirit was prepared. His spirit conquered. And he said, this is your moment, Abraham. This is your moment, Abraham. Though they were far, he saw three men. He saw these are not ordinary people. These are people with God's glory. His heart said, yes, they have the, they have the divine power in their life. And therefore, he left everything. He ran unto them. He welcomed them into his house. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He welcomed angels into his house. Yes. They went chatting and talking. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And therefore, today... I'm speaking to you. Yes. May you have a discerning heart. Mm. May you have a discerning heart, child of oh, God, yes. that this time we will not pass to you. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And once he realized and he gave these people something to take, yes. to feed on, mm -hmm. the word of God says in verses 10, I will surely return to you mm. about this time next year yes. and Sarah will have a son. He, he did not waste his moment. Mm. Don't waste your moment yes. of staying with God, of yes. staying in the church mm. such that you shall reap that which belongs to you. Yes. God has something for you Amen. in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Name. God is think, thinking good thoughts concerning you. Yes. May you arise now. Mm. Your light has come. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You are not one of those people in darkness. Mm. God has located you. Yes. God has seen you now. Yes. And he is speaking to you. Amen. And he is saying, I want to help you. Amen. Father, we want to pray yes. with you, child of God. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mm. we are praying for this child of yours yes. who is looking unto this telecast. Yes. And we are praying for him that his eyes may be open today. In the name of Jesus Christ, may he have a discerning heart, just like Abraham was. Let his moment not pass him, O oh God, because he has a heart for you. He has waited for too long. Let a time like this next year, the blessing that you bring into him be his in the name of Jesus Christ. Let a blessing that he has been praying for be done tomorrow. 
be done next month yes. in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Holy Father. The devil shall not take it from him. You are there and you have not received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. I want you to pray together with me. Say these words and believe them and God will save you today. Dear Father, Dear Father I, come to you, I come to you. Forgive me forgive of, all my sins. of all my sins. Cleanse me, Lord. Cleanse me. And making you make me yours. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Asante, kwa we mawako, padili zako, nisami. Dilizar